Hello, my dear friends of electronics. Today, I invite my colleague, Ralph Regenhold, for demonstrating a small mini power supply for laboratory, which I think, Ralph, we have this magic module, which I know from previous videos. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to build a laboratory power supply? Thank you uh, for being here and being invited again. Uh, previous times I showed our power modules as voltage regulators. All our power modules regulate a constant output voltage and here is a board uh, which does exactly this. Yeah, but with the jumper you can switch here between or not adjust from 2.5 to 15 volt but I have here not 7.5 volt and mm -hmm. uh, I want maybe 7.5 volt and as I know this deliver always the maximum current 2.5 amp. Mm -hmm. How about if I want to limit that? Yeah, so first of all, you want to have a completely free adjustable yes. voltage also dynamically. Correct. Then you would like to have a current limit set because this board um, delivers the maximum current that the internal current limit is set to. So we have a, a solution for this and uh, I would like to show you here this is our reference design. We use the same power module than we use on our evaluation board on the reference design with some additional circuitry and we realize uh, exact voltage adjustment and current adjustment. It's the same QFM package? This is the package that we are using. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. And let me show you the specification of this board. So our input voltage range is from 18 to 36 volts. Our output current is adjustable dynamically from 0 to 2.5 ampere. And the output uh, is adjustable from 0 to 15 volts. So it means you can go down to 0 volt really, so you can even set 0 0.01 volt. Exactly. Normally oh uh, the output voltage, if it would be adjustable, cannot go below the voltage reference. With, with this uh, solution, we can go even below the voltage reference directly to zero. The normal voltage reference is 0 0.8 volt, 0 right? 0.8, yeah. Correct. And how, is, uh, how was that possible? How was that made? So let me show you the trick, how you do this. So here we see the block diagram of this reference design. So we use a standard buck regulator power module and uh, we add two more circuits, two more loops. One current loop, uh, which is an error amplifier, which senses the current through a sense resistor. And another loop is an additional voltage loop, mm -hmm. which senses the output voltage and allows exact adjustment. Great, yeah, that's, that's funny, yeah. Cool. Okay, so now let's look into practice. So let's run the voltage. Yeah. So here you see, uh, a power supply uh, with dual uh, outputs. This is one output and this is another output, but this power supply can do a two quadrant operation so it can also sync, not only source. So the trick is to use one output as a source to supply the input of the power module, the second output as a sync to act as an electronic load. Wow, that's cool. So we set the input to 24 volts here um, and we limit the input current to 2 ampere in order to protect the board in case of anything happening on the output. To implement an output um, electronic load, we set the output voltage to zero. So we, simul we emulate a short circuit at the mm -hmm. output and we set the output limit to 2 ampere. On the board itself, we adjust the voltage first to 0 volts and the current we go to, to maximum. We want to see how the output voltage is adjusted. So let's start with uh, changing the voltage with the potentiometer and let's watch the output voltage which is connected to oscilloscope dynamically to see the change. So by turning the knob, I can dynamically adjust the output voltage up to 15 volts. Mm -hmm. The current flowing at the output is the maximum current that the current source was set to. Okay. We can even uh, have the output turned on and off with a switch, with a little switch, 
like on a real laboratory power supply in case you want to do changes at the output and, and turn off the voltage. Yeah, this is very important for a laboratory power supply. Mm -hmm. that's, that's smart. I like it. Correct. As a second operation, we want to look at the current limit. So what we do is we turn back the current to zero and we put the voltage to a maximum. We, if you want to use this board as a current source, the voltage should go to any voltage it, it would like and the current would be limited with the current regulator. So my voltage is set to maximum and now I turn this potentiometer, set the current and you can watch here the load current increasing and you see the output voltage is at zero because we emulate the short circuit. So I can dynamically adjust the current up to 2 ampere. As soon as I reach the current limit of the electronic load, the output voltage goes to the maximum. If you don't want the output voltage to go to a maximum, then you can limit the output voltage with the voltage regulator. So I limit it to 10 volts. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say you, your short circuit is removed, mm -hmm. uh, then you see the output voltage is limited to 10 volts. If I connect. Uh, you have to go down. Yeah. Okay. If I connect and reduce the current, the output voltage would drop to zero again. But as soon, you as, soon as I remove, it would go short, it's to the maximum yeah. that I limited here. Yeah. Short circuit again, go to the yes. current limit. Current limitation. Great. So, I hope you like this design and maybe you have some idea to build your own laboratory power supply or some other different devices. Please watch my next videos. Bye bye.